Good morning. Happy Friday, everyone. I have to come back over to the comments. I thought oh, I got it down today and then I forgot to switch over. Good morning, everyone. So Tara, Lonnie, Mary, Rebecca, Becky, as I know her, Lonnie, Carol, Teresita is here. Good morning, everybody. And I know there's more of you out there because I see that more are watching. So good morning. I'm Carolyn. If you don't know, if it's your first time here, even if it's not and you haven't subscribed, please do so. And what I always forget to say is please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. One thing that we just found, well, I'd say we just found out. We've been learning more about YouTube. And what we discovered is that if you come to our page, like our, I guess it's our channel page, our home, we, I call it our home page, but I don't think YouTube identifies it as your home page. It's your channel page. Not all of our videos show up there because we do live videos. So if you want to see old videos, most of you that have been around for a while know this, but if you want to see our older videos, you have to go to the live button and then all of our old live Saturday morning lives show up there. So we're trying to work on <laughs> getting things moved over so that if you come to our channel, you can see all of them. But in the meantime, if you want to see all of our old videos, just go to the live portion of our channel and then you'll see all the old Saturday morning videos. Yes. Good morning. Is your sweat? Yes, it is. Faith is your sweater in sourpuss. This is sourpuss. Indeed. This is the um, Dustin cardigan by Isabel Kramer. I was trying to remember her first name and I'm like, I, sh I should know it. She's one of my favorite designers, but I, I've noticed as I get older, names just kind of elude me more and more. We happened to run into an old friend yesterday. We were out and about and we hadn't seen her in a while. And I knew both of her boys' names. And But like when I wanted to mention one of them, I had to say your oldest because I couldn't immediately remember his name, even though I knew his name. Hi, hey, names just elude me. Anyway, Isabel Kramer, it's a great pattern. It does have uh, a button band that you put on and then you can um, put some buttons on and such. And of course, I well, I won't mention it. It has an infamous mistake. I think of it as infamous in my cabling. And at the time I was like, you know what? It's my first like intense cabling for me. And so I'm just going to let it go and I'll know that it, you know, it was just a design element. But now I look back and I wish I had fixed the cable error, but that's all right. <laughs> How is everyone? Do y'all have big plans? Hey, Valera. And uh, let's see who else. Deborah is here. Karen says the Tulsa Trio is in the house. Hello, Karen Gutowski. You already shopped this morning. Thank you. We appreciate that. Yes. If you've seen one of the new colorways, I may have made a little funny towards someone. <laughs> And the project, which shall not be named. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. We're here for the 12 days of Christmas. Yes. Day six. And I'm going to do my usual trend. I'm going to review ahead of time because it's easier for me to remember things that way. And I laid them out in order so that I would not forget. And Mary, I saw your comment. You said it's getting harder not to just open them all at once. So it'll be interesting to see if you make it. <laughs> without opening them all at once. All right, day one, soda fountain. Day two, old fashioned, both mini skeins, of course. And then day three was this wonderfully cute little tin from Firefly Notes that I love. Can't wait to use it. Let's see, day four, uh, this was steamer trunk. And then day five yesterday, now talk about a real pink. This is Pretty in pink. Look at that for sure. That's not called pretty in pink, but that's what I think of. That really soft pink uh, satin and lace. So here they all are, the mini skeins so far. And then today, excuse me. That doesn't sound like a mini skein to me. Y'all hear that? That's not Vinny's game. I know it's not. Here's the cute little sticker for day six. I love it. That's adorable. All right, here we go. Ooh, it's not. Let's see. It's something from Katrinkles. Oh, I know what this is. Michelle showed me this. Ah, oh, this is so cool. It is. Tara, you shook your box? Yeah. I always shake. I always need to shake. 
Look at this. These are in the shape of sweaters and socks. They're little cedar blocks. And you, if you leave them in the bag, you're just your little cedar sachet. <laughs> I can't speak sachet. So this, you know, this brings back such memories. It doesn't so much here, but I had a cedar hope chest when I was young. Did y'all ever have a hope chest? I don't think they were really in fashion when I was a, a young adult, but my mom had told me about them because she had one growing up Amish. And so I, I liked the idea of having one. And so I think I asked for one. It wasn't that everyone had hope chests, but I asked for one. I'm trying to get all my sweaters and socks back in the bag. <laughs> And it had a very distinct smell because it was cedar lined on the inside. So, and my sister didn't have one. So it wasn't a big thing at the time, but I, I just liked the idea of it. And I think Morgan now has it over at her dad's house. She kept it. So, yeah, I didn't really make use of it. But anyway, so this really, I love this. It brings back memory. So you can put this in a project bag if you want to move it around from project to project, keep them nice and fresh, or you can put it in if you have a drawer where you keep some knits and things like that. You can stick it in there. Cedar is thought to be a natural moth repellent, so keep the bugs away from your, your knit goods or crocheted goods, whatever, your woolen goods. Ah, yes, Carol did have one. Yep. <laughs> you know, I... I think I liked the idea, I think because I'm a planner and an organizer and I like, so I liked the idea of, of that, but I never really did. Like I didn't make a bunch of stuff back at that time. So it was, <laughs> wasn't like it really came in handy. Oh, Mary, you have your mom's hope chest. That's awesome. I love that. Okay. Yeah. Carol Burdett, you still have yours. Okay. See, I'm not the only one. I love it. All right. Very good. Tara, you have a few mittens in your bag. Is it mostly, oh, in your, oh, it's not just um, sweaters and socks. Let me look. I didn't see. Maybe I didn't pay close enough attention. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's some mittens in there. Okay. Yep. I should have held them up, shouldn't I? So there's a little sweater. Can you see it? There's a little sweater. And then I won't take too much time with this if they don't. There's a mitten. No, that's a sock. Hello. Do you know your articles of clothing? Anyway, there's a, there's a good handful of them. There's another sock. Anyway, there are mittens in there. You're right. Thanks for pointing that out. Anyway, so do with that as you will. I can't wait. I love it. I think that was a great goodie that Michelle got there. All right. So that was our sixth day of Christmas. And I now I get to open up Teresita's sixth day, which I set aside. I didn't want to have to be searching for it. Ooh, this, this is a hefty little thing here. And it has something to it. Let's see. Let's see. Good morning, Christine. I've been loving seeing your socks that you posted. All right. Let's see here. Harmony. Focus on the things that bring harmony to your life. I love it. And let's see. It's extra gentle soap. Oh, how cute is that? And I bet it has a wonderful scent to it, just like the lotion that we got the other day. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Teresita. That's so cool. I love it. And it's so pretty. All right. I do want to show you all Michelle. I met Michelle yesterday because she uh, was coming back. No, she had, she came back. <laughs> she was on her way down to South Florida to see Eli, her son. And so I had some yarn to give her. And so we met up and she was so sweet when she was in Savannah she went to a bookstore. I love this bag. How cool is that? And I, I will save the bag because I do save fun bags. And look what she got me, you guys. She got me a very cool poster, a color chart. How awesome is that? Very vintagey looking, isn't it? I love that so much. And so I can frame it and hang it in the dye studio if I want. I thought that was very cool. And then she also got me two books. 
with short stories in them, A Christmas with uh, Charles Dickens, and then uh, Christmas with Louisa May Alcott, and look what is on the front of there, a stitching needle. How awesome is that? I may have already started uh, into my Charles Dickens book. And I was, it was funny because the Louisa May Alcott, I was like, oh, I didn't get a chance to tell her we were busy talking about business stuff. But Louisa May Alcott, um, when I was young, Little Women, of course, was who didn't read Little Women. But there she has other books like Rose and Bloom is one that I have. And then just recently, it made me think of it at a used bookstore. I came when we were in Tennessee, I came across this one. And I was like, I don't think I realized that I she probably has a lot more books out there that I just somehow never read. And so I got this one. It's probably not even, it's probably more of a young adult book, but I don't care. I love her stories because they're so, they just make you feel at home. It's kind of like watching the Golden Girls. <laughs> you just want to snuggle up and it just makes you feel comfy and relaxed. And, and of course I love short stories because it's something, you know, it's like a quick pick me up, something you can do in a short amount of time. Yeah. So that was awesome. Thank you, Michelle couple of announcements for you all that I wanted to point out. Today is the last day to get, uh, if you want sweater weather on a big Hank or Hanks of any kind, that pre-order will be going down today. And then also going down in just a couple days is the February birthday club. So if you want to get in on a goodie surprise uh, yarn and goodies, in February, then you want to go ahead and get that ordered as well, because we take that down uh, right after the end of the preceding month so that I can get the yarn dyed up and Michelle can make sure she has the goodies and all that good stuff. Yes, I agree, Liz. Good morning. Young adult books can be the best. And Michelle, she does find the best goodies. She really does. All right. So today's Friday. Yes. Y'all got big plans. It's Chris or not Chris, New Year's Eve Eve. So tonight's the night that Bo and I will celebrate. I said the other day that we have a hot, hot date. We don't have a hot, hot date. We're just going out to dinner. And who knows, maybe we'll find a bar afterwards. We don't usually do that. But, you know, if we're going to celebrate, we might as well celebrate big. So we'll see what happens. All right. Oh, thank you, Mary. Distaff Day. You know what? I'm so glad you brought that up because I got an email just this morning that if you want to pre-register let me look real quick. I want to say if you want to pre-register so that you can get in early Friday night, well, get in Friday evening for a little bit, and then also early on Saturday, an hour early, uh, it closes in two days. So I'm guessing Saturday, yes, yeah, Saturday at 11.59 p.m. So don't, and if, if you end up deciding you're not sure you can go, uh, and then you can come, you can always sign, come in the day of, uh, and the, the price is the same. You just get early access if you register early. So, uh, yes. So that is one week away next weekend. Oh my goodness. So I'm looking really forward to seeing a lot of you next week. It's funny how these things just sneak up on us, <laughs> but I should be used to distaff. Of course, we haven't had it in a couple of years, at least not in person. So maybe that's why it, it snuck up on me. All right. Oh, that's awesome. Mary's bringing her crank machine to do a demo. They do have lots of demos there, as well as I think we mentioned this before raffles. They're doing um, some raffles, door prizes, things like that. I know we have to give some prizes, so there will definitely be all that good stuff. All right. Don't forget to wear your name tag, too, uh, so that we know who you are. Wow. So the other people know who you are and that you're a Yarny you, right? <laughs> all right. I am going to get ready to sign off here. I hope that you all have a great day, Michelle. No, today's Friday. So, oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. Whoop, let's play a game, shall we? No, let's not. <laughs> Michelle and I should both be with you tomorrow. Do uh, say a quick prayer if you're so inclined for Michelle. I know all this traveling has got her a little bit under the weather, so she's kind of run down. So keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Hopefully we will both be with you tomorrow morning at 930, of course, for our Saturday morning live. <laughs> all right, everybody, have a great uh, day and I'll see you all tomorrow or in the Yarny use. Thank you.